Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond from Sharepoint Wizard. If you like my channel, subscribe. And in this episode, I'd like to show you the new um, look and feel of Microsoft List in Sharepoint and in Microsoft List. So uh, up until now, we saw the interface that if I uh, look at the list that uh, was created from a template, uh, you will see we have um, the name of the column, and we have the filter and the information panel. Uh, this is what you probably know. But when I create now a new list, and this is how it looks also when you create it from the Microsoft List homepage, let's see how it is. So actually, I will create a new, um, I'll go to the home, sorry, I'll go and create a new list. And I will choose new and list. I can choose a template this time. I'll choose a blank list. I'll call this demo list two. And actually, what I will see is something uh, different. So if you remember, uh, if we look at the list that we were looking before, we had just the, the name of the column, but we couldn't know exactly what type of uh, column it is. So now by default, the text title has an icon here of ABC. That means that actually we, we know it's a text column. Now, if we add another uh, column, for instance, uh, date and, and, and time and call it the uh, date or due date, due, and if we save it, we'll see here an icon of a date. Now, what else do we see? We see here actually that the views are looking different. So if I do this, I can see the list, the view, the compact list. I can form, format the current view. I can edit the edit view. I can save it. I can rename it and add and remove a field. Now, if I want to create a new view, I just click this plus. This plus uh, lets me choose uh, different types of views. If it's a list, if it's a calendar, by the way, notice that we have the work week and, and day, which was not existing until now. We have the gallery and we have the board. So um, we also have the possibility to group. So if I, want to group by uh, a title or date, then I can do that. Let me add a choice column. Let's call it status. And we will have uh, the columns that doesn't matter. Now, if I do this, I can, uh, for instance, uh, group by status. Now, if I add some data, I can do that in the edit and grid view. So let's just add uh, some demo uh, data choose a date and a status, and we can copy this uh, to the next row. If it will work, let's just type it, test two, and we have a date, and we have a, now we can exit, and actually if we want to group through the modern way, um, we can do that. Seems like it's grouped now. Let's just refresh and see how the experience is. So if I group by status, it creates here the group. I have for choice one, I have one item and for choice two, I have another item. If I want to remove it, I can just uh, remove it this way. So what do we see here? We have the filter, we can filter according to one of the columns. So let's choose to see only the choice and we will see this. This is nothing new, but uh, what I wanted actually to, uh, what I was looking for, if I, we look at the old uh, look and field or the previous one, we had the information panel. So if we would choose one or more uh, items, we could go to the information panel and we could edit the, priority or anything. And we could do it for a bulk uh, number of items. So I, if I wanted to change both the category to design, I could approve and just save it. 
and it would apply it for both. Now in the new interface, it's missing. So what's the catch? How can we see? Okay, so after playing around with it, if I mark one or more, we have this edit button. Not the edit in grid, edit button. So we can mark one or two, and we will click the edit button, and now we can change it to, in this case, two, both items will be changed to choice one. A click of a lie, and it was changed. Let's do another test. So let's do edit and change it to choice three. It was changed. So no more information panel. Um, by the way, the information panel sometimes uh, would give us more information uh, regarding access and other things. Let's just check here. And, um, but, and we had path and other things and, and changes. And you can also uh, mention uh, here it's not possible. Let's see, um, strangely enough, that if we do this, then we can see it. Not sure how how we got to that, but maybe it's a, it will come. So currently, if we mark it, we use the edit, we can do uh, editing for one or more. Uh, let's see what else we, what we can do. So we have the manage access. So actually here we can, instead of, we can see what are the groups that this list has. Notice that there's uh, different types of uh, permission levels. You can uh, edit li the list, you can view, you can be the owner, um, and you can see some people. Just if I add some, someone here, notice here we can add an edit list, add edit items, and can view. So I guess can view is read, can edit the item, can be contribute uh, or edit. We need to check that and uh, edit the list would be, no, one would be contribute or edit. Um, we I need to check that because it's not that clear. Um, so we have the manage uh, access and we have this um, arrow. So if I hover, it says open in immersive mode. What it does is actually open the list in the Microsoft List app. You see this uh, purple uh, thing. So I can continue to add some items. Okay, uh, I can choose a date and the status. And um, actually, if I want to go back to the list, I can actually click on this and this will bring me to the site. Or I can uh, click on this uh, two arrows open in site and actually it will uh, bring me back to the list in the SharePoint. Notice that this icon actually is not something, uh, well, actually, I think when you create, let's look at how it was previously. So previously we didn't have the icon of the list. We could make it favorite, but uh, when you create the list, actually you can choose a, a logo. <coughs> Let's just demonstrate it. So I'll go to new, to home, click on list. I, if I choose, let's say a blank list. No, here it doesn't give the possibility, uh, but that's really strange. If I go to list here and do blank list, here I can choose one of the icons and give a name and actually assign it to the site. So the site is the A team and let's just uh, call it uh, ABC and let's click on it. And uh, it now created it. Um, and if I go back to the site, we see it like this with the this uh, icon that we created. Now, uh, I want to tell you that uh, I noticed uh, while I was testing that uh, by default, uh, soon a uh, list might be open even from SharePoint in the list app. 
Now, if you want to uh, cancel that, what you can do is go to the gear icon, click on site content, and click on site settings. Now we have under navigate elements, a third possibility, list and sites. So if you want to specify SharePoint element and header and navigation should be visible in the list, then you should mark this. If not, it says by default, all this will open in list app, which is optimize the performance. Uh, but if we click this, then um, again, it's under site settings, navigation elements, and the third possibility, then um, all of these, um, all of the lists will be opened uh, not according to the default, but remain in the SharePoint uh, um, interface and navigation. Now, I'm not sure this is now, this is her site. Um, I'm not sure if it's possible to do per, per tenant for all, but maybe it can be done in PowerShell or something like that. So uh, this is what I wanted to show you. Um, here's another example. Um, now you notice when you have lots of views, all of a sudden the filter is over here. So I don't know regarding um, uh, how, uh, if it's something that can be fixed. Uh, just think how many, if you have a hundred uh, uh, views, then what, what, how will it look? Now, my um, guess is that you should have at the end some kind of a, a three dots where you can see all of the list. Here, I'm adding some more views. Okay. And uh, now you see um, we're starting to see three dots with all of the uh, views that are not visible. Now, if we set one of the views uh, by default, here you see there's more. Um, then uh, I my guess is it will uh, be first presented. So let's say we choose this purchase view and what we could do is we should be able to set it to default. Let's just uh, refresh and um, hmm, it doesn't uh, show it. So this is uh, something that we might need to check uh, if it's possible to um, arrange the views according to some kind of a uh, logic. Um, again, what's nice is uh, that you don't need to go to the classical uh, setting. Uh, you can format your, your view. Yeah, you can, um, what can we do here? You can edit the current view. It will open it in a classical way where you can uh, mark the columns you want to present. How do you want to sort it? If you want to filter um, and if you want to show uh, folders or, or limit their items or sum it up. What else can we see here? So, um, oops, we see here also um, people that are in the list at the same time. That's cool. So you can know um, who's working on it. Now uh, you can rename the view. So if I do this very fast, I can do that. I can uh, delete the view. Let's delete the view. And um, yeah, it should work. What else can we do? And we can add uh, columns. So instead of going to the old interface, you can mark all of these, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, and uh, these items are added. So this and and notice now we have actually the first column is uh, frozen, so it's not even in edit and grid view. So it's both um, in both uh, experience. I guess this happens when you have lots of columns because if we go here. Uh, we will have no uh, issue. Let's add some columns and see how it works. So this is one column. 
uh, but you actually uh, understand that, that if we have more than one column uh, or oh, lots of columns, then actually it will show us the, the first column as frozen and that way we can follow up uh, what will be. By the way, uh, I'm looking forward to should be a feature where you'll be able to drag and, and drop um, uh, some columns and, and make your own order, um, but uh, it's coming. And uh, additional thing is uh, the possibility to have um, multiple forms uh, for one list. So this is what I wanted to show you and hopefully uh, you can test it and uh, have a good day. If you like my channel, subscribe and goodbye.